there, this is Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. Today I have a fun tip for you for using the Designer Cuts cards from Stampin' Up! You're going to find them on page 9 in the Occasions Mini Catalog. They're right here. They come in a package with 8 cards and 8 envelopes. And there are two different die cut designs. They're laser cut, they're just beautiful. One of them has this beautiful border that you see here, and the other one has a heart. When you open up the package, you're going to see the really pretty pink envelopes and then the two different patterns. You get the heart and the border. They both come in the package. You could simply use them as is. They're already scored. You can just fold them in half and add a greeting or a, maybe a couple pearls and you could just send the card as is. But one thing that I like to do with them is to put a piece of designer paper behind the opening so then you can see the other side when you open up the card. This is from one of our free packages during celebration. It's called Everyday Enchantment. So you just see the real pretty pattern through there and then I cut the same pattern with the butterfly and the big shot machine and one of our dies. So that's a very easy way to use the cards. This one doesn't have anything behind it. You just simply see the shadow and then you see it when you open it. You'll see the cuts from the other side. And here's one that I did with the designer paper behind there. And then again when you open it you're seeing your designer paper on the inside. So that's just a couple ways you might want to use them. But what I wanted to share today with you is an idea that I got from demonstrator Brenda Crenshaw. And she shared these gorgeous cards through an email. And I asked her if I could copy her idea and do a quick video. So do you see just these lovely colored flowers? Aren't they gorgeous? And then I took it a step further and did one for this one as well. She had done the heart and I went ahead and did both of them. So let me show you how this is done. What we're going to use is the Stampin' Up! cardstock weight vellum. And it's a nice thick vellum. What I have done is cut a piece for each of the two designs. So we have a square one that's going to go behind the heart and a long skinny one that goes behind the other design. So you're going to take your card. I'm going to start with the heart. And there are two ways to do this. You're going to be coloring on the vellum. Let me see if you can see the difference here. Do you see how this one is a little more vibrant and this one is a little softer? And there are two ways to color your vellum and insert it inside your card. One way is going to give you the more vibrant color and one way is going to give you the softer look. So what I prefer is the brighter color. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of dotto right there and then place my vellum and stick it on there so that it's going to stay. And then I've got a few different colors of in-color markers here that I'm using. And I started with the green because it was easier for me to see the leaves. And what I'm doing is just going through here and I'm coloring right on top of anywhere there was a leaf. So there are a few stems in here and there's a few pieces that are obviously leaves. So you would go through and color all the leaves. And then I just started picking colors and I'm coloring right on top of different flowers here. And you don't have to be very precise as you can see. I'm just sort of scribbling. I'm using the thicker end of the marker. We have a wide line here that indicates a thick tip and we have a skinnier line here that indicates a thinner tip. I prefer the th thicker tip for coloring. So I'm just going to go around. I would color up the entire thing And you can see these are just sort of squiggly, squiggly messy colors. But then you would finish coloring it in and you would take this off and if there's any little dotto residue you just rub that away. It comes off very easily. 
and then you're going to put this onto the back side and you'll be able to see very easily where all of those line up and then you would adhere it on the inside I just used some snail underneath like that and adhered that inside and then so that this piece doesn't show I cut a piece of very vanilla to mount on the inside of there and then from the front side you see all those beautiful bright colors isn't it gorgeous I think Brenda is just amazing for figuring this out I just love it now if you wanted it to be softer what you would do is start by placing your vellum on the inside of your card and you would be coloring on this back side so that when you flip it through and look from this side it's going to be a little bit softer so you have your choice there of doing it either way and then for the other style of card I've got my long skinny piece of vellum and it would be the same process where I would either hold it on top with a little bit of dotto and color in and then slip it to the back and that's going to give me a brighter pattern or if I want it a little more subtle I start with it on the back I color on this side and then I would see through to that side so I've just used the same color palette there and a couple of different ways to color it in it kind of looks like stained glass it's very pretty and I think it's just a really neat technique so again, I just want to thank Brenda for her great idea. I'll have all the supplies listed on my blog at pattystamps.com so that you can view all of the supplies there. And I hope you'll enjoy this really neat technique. Thanks for visiting.